Hello everyone. Today's video is all about operation with function. So this is a grade 11 gen math topic. So we're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide two function. So here on the board, we have our example. First, we have f of x equal to 2x plus 4. So our first function is f of x equal to 2x plus 4. And our second function is h of x equal to x plus 2. So we're going to find the sum, the difference, the product, and the quotient of the two given function. So let us start with our letter A, which is the sum of our function. So we're going to solve. Now, quantity f plus x of x is the same as adding the function f of x and x of x. So this one is the same as this one. So we're going to add f of x and x of x. So that is equivalent to, now we're going to copy the function f of x, which is 2x plus 4. And we have h of x. So we put this one in. We have x plus 2. Now we're going to remove the grouping symbol since they are all positive. So we have to copy 2x plus 4 plus x plus and then we're going to simplify. We're going to combine like terms and simplify. So we have 2x plus another x. So 2x plus x, that is 3x. And we also have 4 plus 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is now our final answer. Okay. Next, we have letter D. Now, this time we're going to find the difference. So, let me erase this one. Letter D is the same as the function f of x subtracted by the function x of x. So, that is equivalent to we just copy the function. So, we have 2x plus 4 minus the function x of x. So we're going to copy. We put that one in a grouping symbol, which is x plus 2. Now we simplify. So we remove the grouping symbol. We have 2x plus 4. And then, since we have the minus sign, so we're going to multiply the negative or the minus sign to all the terms inside our grouping symbol to simplify. So, negative times positive x, the result is negative x. Negative times positive 2, that is negative 2. And then, we're going to simplify. Combining like terms, so we have 2x. 2x minus, that is 1x. 2x minus x. 2x minus 1x, that is x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we only have x. Then next we have 4 minus 2, so positive 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. Okay. Now let us proceed now to letter C, which is the product. Let me erase this one. So letter C. That is simply f of x multiplied to x of x. So this is, big that is the multiplication symbol where you, will, where you see. Now, we copy the value of our f of x. We put that one in our grouping symbol. x plus 4. Then, times, because we're going, we're using parentheses, so it is understood that it is multiplication. We copy x plus 2. Now, 
we're going to multiply using the distributive property of multiplication. So 2x first is multiply to x. Next, 2x multiply to 2. Then after that one, we need we have 4. 4 multiplied to x. Then 4 multiplied to 2. First is 2x. 2x times x, that is 2x squared. And we have 2x times 2, that is 4x. Next, we have 4. 4 times x is 4x. And lastly, we have 4 times 2, that is 8. Then we simplify. Since 2, this is 2x squared, so we're going to just bring it down. Since there is no other x squared on our terms available. So bring down 2x squared. Similar terms, so we have 4x and 4x. 4 plus another 4x, you will have 4 plus 4 is 8x. And then we have plus 8. That is now our final answer. Did you get that? Okay, next we have letter D. So, you just let me read this one. Letter D is the quotient. Letter D. That is simply f of x divided by f of x. Which is equivalent to, just copy what is f of x. That is 2x plus 4 divided by our s of x which is x plus 2. Now, how will you simplify this one? So, you have to check. After checking the numerator, we found out that 2x can be divided by 2 and 4 can also be divided by 2. So, we're going to factor 2x plus 4 before we're going to simplify further. So, 2x plus 4, the factor is 2 times x plus 2 over x plus 2. Now, where did I get 2 times x plus 2? So, that is simply from this one. 2x plus 4, factor that is 2 times x plus 2. Now, to factor this one, so we have 2x plus 4. Since the common factor is 2, so you are going to divide 2x by 2 and 4 by 2. So our common divisor is 2. After dividing, what remains is x. And then plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's how we get our factor. Now after factoring, we cancel out x plus 2 and x plus 2. What remains is our 2. Therefore, our answer is 2. Because it is understood that it is equal to 2 over 1. Or 2 divided by 1 is 2. Because we put 1 and 1. Okay? Cancel. 2 times 1 is 2 over 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. Okay? Another example. Okay. So let me erase this one. Now this time, I will change the given. So instead of 2x plus 4, and h of x is x plus 2, we only, have, we only have to change the given. So what if, for example, x minus 4 is the value of our f of x? And our h of x is x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now let me erase this one. So we can start with our example a. Now, f of x is equal to x minus 4 and h of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, let's find first the sum. So, letter A, we have f of x plus h of x. So, that is equivalent to just copy f of x, which is x minus 4 plus, we have h of x, copy that one. Minus 2x minus 8. Now, we remove the grouping symbols. We have x minus 4 
since positive, we all multiply, 16, the same. So we have plus x squared, minus 2x, minus 8. Combine like terms and then arrange in order. So first is our x squared. Since there is no other x squared, so we just put it down or bring it down. Next is our x. x here is 1. And x here is negative 2. So 1 minus 2. Since they have different sign, take the difference between the two number, 1 and negative 2. So negative 2 is bigger than 1, so we have negative 1. That is negative 1x or x. Then we have negative 4 and negative 8. Same sign. So same sign, simply combine negative 4 and negative 8. That is negative 12. So that is your final answer. Next, letter B, proceed. Now, in letter B, we have f of x minus x of x. Copy f of x. We have x minus 4 minus we have x squared minus 2x minus 8. So, remove, removing the grouping symbol since this is positive. So, we have x minus 4. Now, we have negative here. Negative or subtraction sign. So, we're going to multiply negative to all the elements inside. So, negative times positive x squared. So, we have negative x squared. Negative times negative. The result is positive 2x. Negative times negative is positive 8. Then, we combine. So, we're going to copy. Bring down negative x squared. So, that is negative x squared, bringing the sign because there's only one x squared. Next, we have x and 2x. x here is 1 and we have another x which is 2. So 1 plus 2, that is all in all 3x. We have negative 4 and positive 8. Different sign. Take the difference between the two numbers. So, we have 8 and negative 4. The difference is 4. Since positive is bigger compared to negative 4, so our answer is Positive. What is the difference between 8 and negative 4? That is 4. So we have positive 4. Our final answer. Or letter B. Next we have letter C. Okay, let me erase. Now in letter C, we're going to multiply. So we have f of x times x of x. The same procedure, copy, x minus 4, multiplied to x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, apply the distributive property of multiplication. x is multiplied to x squared, x is multiplied to negative 2x, x is multiplied to negative 8, and then a third one, next is negative 4, multiplied to x squared, Negative 4 multiplied to negative 2x and negative 4 multiplied to negative 8. Okay, let's do this. x times x squared, that is x cubed. x times negative 2x, we have negative 2x squared. x times negative 8, we have negative 8x. Then, next is negative 4. Negative 4 times x squared, we have negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times negative 2x, negative times negative is positive. So we have 4 times 2 is 8x. And then lastly, we have negative 4 times negative 8, all negative, so the result is positive. That is 32. Positive 32. Then simplify. Is there any x cubed? So there's only one, so we bring down x cubed. How about x squared? How many x squared? So we have 2, but negative 2 and negative 4, same sign, therefore combine. Negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 6x squared. Next is our x. Is there any other x? Yes, we have another x, but 
negative 8 and positive 8. Negative 8 plus positive 8 is 0. Therefore, this will be cancelled out because 0. And then we have plus, plus 32. So this is our final answer. Last one, letter D. Now, let's proceed to letter D. Letter D is f of x divided by x of x. So we have, copy, x minus 4 divided by x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, simply we have x minus 4 over, we factor that one. x squared minus 2x minus 8, the factor is we have x squared, so we have x and x. What is the factor of negative 8? When added, will equal to negative 2. Factor of negative 8, if added, equal to negative 2. So when we have negative 4 and positive 2. So we have negative 4, positive 2. So we cancel out x minus 4 and x minus 4. What remains is 1 over x plus so that is our final answer. Okay. The factor of x squared minus 2x minus 8 is x minus 4 times x plus 2. You multiply this one, the result is this one. Since we have the same x minus 4 and x minus 4, we can see that out with 1, we put 1, 1, so that is your 1. 1 times x plus 2, x plus 2. Okay, that's all for our operation with function. I hope that you learned something from today's video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.